All right, so here's me and you, right? This is us thinking we're pretty clean, right? We're pretty good. We're good people, right? That's okay. And this mill jar is, what does this look like? It's dirty, isn't it? Kind of, yeah. It's, would you want to drink this or bathe in this? Anything to do with this? No. What is that? So, sin separates us from Jesus, right? Jesus doesn't want to be around sin, does he? He's the son of God. He's never sinned. He is perfect. He is nice and clear and clean, isn't he? So here's us living our lives. And maybe we tell a lie. Maybe we are real jealous of our sister's new birthday toy. Maybe we are... Ooh, it's going to take a not me. Maybe we back talked our mom and dad. No one ever does that. All right? Maybe we sped a little bit to work today. Quit talking about me. <laughs> What's happened to us? We're dirty. What has happened to us? We're sinful. Oh, we're full of sin, aren't we? Aren't we? But then if we decide, hey, Let's accept Jesus into our hearts. Fisher James. Let's accept Jesus into our hearts, right? What does Jesus do? What did he come to do? Cleanse us. Jesus came to cleanse us of our sin. So if we accept Jesus into us, watch what happens. What happened? Yes, what happened, Garrett? We're clear again. We're clean again, aren't we? We do sit. We still do sin. Right. And what can Jesus do with sin? Make him good. What do you think will happen if I pour Jesus into sin? Jesus has never sinned, right? So we can't pour sin into Jesus. But what do you think Jesus is going to do to sin? Make him good. I guess I should have said that so you can really see it. What did he do to sin? They're still a little bit of yellow. A little bit. I know. No, I know. <laughs> what happened to sin? Dead. It's dead. It's gone, isn't it? We have no more sin now that we have Jesus. Isn't that pretty cool? Does that help you visualize what Jesus Wait, so, did for our so, sins? So, so what